All right, this is a review of the Speedmaster small block Mopar rocker arms. Uh, I was getting ready to take one of these heads apart so I can give you a better follow-up video on these heads. And the rockers came in. I put off ordering these for a long time. The biggest reason I put off ordering them, well, there's a few reasons. Um, there's a lot of rocker arm tests out there where the ratios that they give you are very inaccurate. And without these guys, you know, that are doing testing, uh, detailed testing, and putting the information out there, the average guy would never know. I've seen them test what they call a 1.6 rocker, and they've had as low as a 1.45 true ratio of lift at the valve. So just because you're buying a 1.5 or 1.6 doesn't mean that's what you're getting. My hope is that when you buy a more expensive, better quality, bigger name brand of rocker, that your chances of actually getting that delivered ratio are better. Uh, and I still hang on to hope for that, but the truth is even some of the big names out there in testing haven't proven that good. So... The other reason I put off buying these, I mean, I like the design of the rocker. I like what they're doing, sort of. Um, they're stainless, and that sounds great for longevity, but that also adds weight, that also adds mass. And so as you get up into the higher RPM range on your engine, that could also lead to valve float if you don't have a stiff enough spring because you're trying to control the mass of these stainless rockers. So that part I don't care for. And I stayed away from them. I got suckered in on Black Friday. What I do like about them. So they're bushed. I'd like to hope this is a bronze bushing, but I can't tell you. It's a bushed rocker. So you don't have any needle bearings that are going to fall apart. And this does not feel like needle bearings. They swedge the ends on it. So I can't take it apart, but this feels like it's probably just a solid shaft and a roller. There is excessive play in this roller, and I'm not talking about side to side, but I'm talking when you try to twist it. It's more than I care for on a brand new set of rockers. Um, I'm just going to tell you, I don't like these. So I'm not being biased, but I don't like the amount of play they have. So they drilled an oil feed hole right nice it's going to splash oil hopefully out to your roller um that's a nice feature until you get in there and you see that hunk of metal let me see if i can give you a better a better shot see that that's the metal where they ran their drill bit through and they didn't bother cleaning it that's going to get inside there and it's going to score the shaft and and scratch everything up uh, if it gets in your bearing there, you're going to increase your clearance, your, your uh, bronze bushing there. It's going to increase the clearance, score the shaft, and then you'll start leaking oil out of the side, which could lead to a loss in oil pressure. So, quality control's poor there. What I did notice was they put an oil hole in the back, and I thought, well, where's that going? Then I backed out this adjuster. And they've got an oil feed hole there in the adjuster and the cup. So I like that feature. I thought, okay, now we're making sure we get good oiling to the, the tip of the push rod. They drilled out the center of the adjuster. I don't quite understand that. Um, so I like some of their thinking on what they were doing. But quality control there could be better. Uh, the clearance here could be better the shafts look okay they've got a pressed in end if I can show you they got a pressed in end so that's not really a selling point because it doesn't take much to do a thread in end there and not only for strength I mean the chances you're gonna build up enough pressure in this shaft to blow that plug out probably not gonna happen but on the thread in ends which are common on other rockers and better name rockers uh, you can at least unthread the end and you can clean it out so if you had a failure in your motor or something you can expose the inside of that shaft 
and wash it out good before you put your engine back together. Uh, there they are on the heads. The hold downs look fine. The hardware surprisingly doesn't seem uh, terrible. I've had some very brittle Speedmaster fasteners before. They are not undercut at all here in a rock arm. And what that leads to is absolute garbage because they hit. They hit before they even come down and touch the valve. Maybe on a beehive spring, maybe on an OEM spring, maybe on an OEM head. That's not an issue. But these are Speedmaster heads and Speedmaster rockers. And they absolutely hit the retainer. So, that right there makes them jump. Makes them no longer usable to me. I didn't have a lot of faith in them, but I thought, well, they're cheap. I paid uh, $200, maybe $100. 170 180 dollars on black friday and i knew what i was buying but i thought i'd roll the dice and get them in my hands and see for sure and just not be opinionated about them uh, because of the brand name you know on the internet but they've proven up to uh live up to the junk that i thought they were and they're just not going to work and most of the aluminum rockers you're going to see a pretty heavy undercut here and i have not had an issue with their aluminum rockers but uh, for me these are a no so i may throw them on my iron headed um, 360 my ram charger and let them live there for a while uh, chances are i'll just get pissed off and i'll give them to somebody else when i come over and i'll just take the loss on that anyhow that's my review of the speedmaster uh, rocker arms